Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt. Today, my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make a traditional Christmas fruit cake. The holidays are coming up, and this delicious cake filled with fruits and nuts and all that flavor aged and ripened with dark rum is the perfect gift to give your family and friends this Christmas. Yay, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Now, this recipe was requested by a lot of you, and we hope you like this video. This recipe is for one fruitcake made in a 9 by 5 inch loaf pan, but you can also make it in a 9 inch round cake pan and double or triple the recipe as needed. We're going to start by soaking the fruit, so take a non-reactive bowl like glass or stainless steel, and add in 3 fourths cup of diced dried pineapple, 3 fourths cup of golden raisins, half a cup of diced dried apricots, three-fourths cup of chopped dates, half a cup of red candied cherries, three tablespoons of diced candied ginger, and two teaspoons of orange zest. Lightly toss this to mix them up. Then add in three-fourths cup of dark rum or brandy, and one-fourth cup of cranberry juice. Toss this mixture again, mix it well, and then cover with a lid or plastic wrap. We're going to let this mixture rest at room temperature overnight to let the dark rum and cranberry juice rehydrate the dried fruit. This way the fruit doesn't soak up all of the moisture from the rest of the cake when it bakes, which makes the finished cake a lot more moist. A non-alcoholic substitute would be to just add one cup of cranberry juice, or you can also use one cup of apple juice if cranberry juice is not available. The next day, the fruit will have become rehydrated and infused with all that rum and cranberry flavor. The next step is to toast the nuts. We're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and take a small baking sheet and add in 1 4th cup of shelled salted pistachios, 1 4th cup of sliced almonds, 1 4th cup of chopped pecans, and 1 4th cup of chopped walnuts. Mix them up, and we're going to bake these in our preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 12 minutes, or until the nuts are browned and fragrant. Set the nuts aside to cool to room temperature. Now turn down the oven temperature to 275 degrees Fahrenheit, and take a 9 by 5 inch loaf pan, and grease the bottom, corners, and sides very generously with butter. Now we're ready to make the fruitcake batter. Take a large mixing bowl, add in 8 tablespoons or 1 stick of room temperature unsalted butter, 1 fourth cup of vegetable oil, and 1 cup of dark brown sugar. Beat this together with an electric mixer until it is uniform. Then add in half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, 1 fourth teaspoon of allspice, 1 4th teaspoon of nutmeg, and 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Beat this together with an electric mixer until everything is mixed in and uniform. Then while continuing to beat, one egg at a time, add in two eggs, making sure that the first egg is incorporated before adding the second egg. Then add in two tablespoons of maple syrup, one third cup of cranberry juice, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. When the mixture looks smooth, sift in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. Gently stir it in a bit first so the flour and cocoa powder don't fly everywhere. Then beat these dry ingredients in until just combined. When the batter looks uniform and smooth, pour in the soaked fruit mixture, including any liquid, and add in the toasted chopped nuts from earlier. And then fold all of this fruit and nuts into the batter very well, scraping the bottom of the bowl to make sure the batter is well combined and uniform. Then transfer the batter into the prepared greased 9 by 5 inch loaf pan. The batter should not go past 3 fourths of the way up the loaf pan, because if it does, it might overflow when baking. Then, flatten the top a bit 
so it's as smooth and even as possible. Now this is an optional step, but we're going to decorate the top of the fruit cake just to make it a little bit more festive. You can make whatever pattern you like. We're going to take about 1 4th cup of pecan halves, and I'm going to add a strip of pecan halves along the center of the cake, gently pressing them down a bit into the batter so they are lightly embedded into the cake. Then we're taking about half a cup of red candied cherries and adding a row of them on either side of the pecans, also gently pressing them down a bit into the batter to embed them into the cake. Now fruitcakes have a long baking time, so to prevent the sides from drying out and burning, take a cake strip and soak in cold water for 5 minutes. Shake off the excess water, but do not wring, and wrap it around the loaf pan which will prevent the sides of the fruitcake from cooking faster than the middle. If you don't have cake strips, you can watch Kurt's Ube Overload video starting at the 22 second mark to learn how to make your own cake strips using paper towels and aluminum foil. We're going to bake this fruit cake on the middle rack of our preheated oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for one and a half to two hours. Or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Rest the cake in the loaf pan for five minutes. Then, gently unstick the sides with a sharp knife as necessary, and invert the fruit cake onto a wire rack. Now while the cake is still warm, generously brush the bottom of the cake with additional dark rum or brandy. Invert it again onto another wire rack so the cake is right side up, this time with a sheet pan underneath to catch excess glaze. And then generously brush the top of the cake and all four sides with additional dark rum or brandy. For a non-alcoholic substitute of this final glaze, you can use simple syrup instead of dark rum. After brushing with alcohol, let the fruitcake cool completely to room temperature. When the cake has completely cooled, wrap it tightly and thoroughly with plastic wrap and store at room temperature. With the alcohol and wrapped tightly in plastic, this fruitcake will keep at room temperature for two months. That's right. You can serve it immediately, but we recommend letting it sit at room temperature for at least a couple of days to one week before eating it. Its flavor will improve and become more complex as it ages. If you are aging the cake, we suggest generously brushing the cake with additional dark rum or brandy once a week and a little bit more, once again, right before serving the cake. And there it is, a traditional Christmas fruit cake aged with dark rum. Ang sarap! Mmm! Yum! Wow, it's so moist and I love all that fruit. And that aged flavor profile with the dark rum is absolutely worth the wait. I'm tipsy already. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this traditional Christmas fruit cake. Send us pictures of your creations on Facebook and Instagram. The links are below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. Maraming salamat and Merry Christmas! Christmas.